Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in this episode we will be looking at repotting the Gerbera daisies and we will also look at some quick tips. So I purchased this Gerbera daisy a few months ago and I am only repotting it now. So any plant that you get newly from the nursery, don't rush to repot it the same day. Give it a few weeks to establish in your garden and learn some survival skills that could be unique to your area and then you could repot it. Otherwise, the immediate repotting could shock the plant and the plant could die. Especially these non-native plants like Gerbera daisies are sensitive to repotting, shift in location, etc. So if you're looking for a detailed Gerbera care tip, then you can click the link above to watch the video. Now for the repotting, take one or two size bigger container than the old one. Preferably a terracotta pot or a concrete container like this would do with obviously holes at the bottom for drainage. Now taking too big a container would also be a bad idea, especially if you have dwarf Gerberas, because it will just feel like enrolling a 5-year-old into college, something not very desirable. Now to cover the hole, make sure you put the concave or the caved-in portion of this broken pot on top of the hole. This will allow the water to flow out, but will help retain the soil medium. Now for the potting mix, you need a well-draining mixture of 40% sand, 40% compost and 20% of soil or cocoa peat. The Gerbera daisy hates sitting in water, so the more well-draining and organically rich your potting medium is, the better it would thrive. Additionally, I'll be adding some cow dung laced compost as well. Now carefully remove the plant from the old pot and check the roots. And here you can see a perfect example of a pot bound or a root bound plant where the roots have attained this circular frame which you need to disturb only a little to signal the roots to grow out. Even if you don't do this, it's not a big crime. Now add the plant in the middle and the placement of the Gerbera daisy in the pot and the back filling of the soil is very important because if you cover the crown portion which is the center portion from where the flowers arise, what will happen is that the plant could get affected by crown rot, which is the most common reason of death in Gerbera daisies. So make sure you keep the plant one or two inches below the rim of the container and backfill till the old topsoil layer and strictly not beyond that. Now, if you've noticed, this plant is all leaves. So this is not proven or anything, but just from my instinct as a gardener, I think removing some leaves from the middle will expose the crown to some sunlight and that would trigger blooming. But don't be overzealous and start stripping the whole plant of its leaves. Just one or two here and there would be enough. Obviously, dead leaves can be removed because keeping them could invite diseases because the Gerbera leaves mostly touch the wet soil. Now add water until you see the water coming out of the container. This plant hates both under and over watering, so find that right balance depending on your area's daytime temperature. I will be keeping this under partial sunlight. Now there's a lot of debate on what kind of sunlight the Gerbera daisy likes. So I have noticed that such big stalked Gerberas can tolerate more sunlight than the dwarf ones. But on the flip side, the leaves have become pale due to the overexposure to sun. But blooms on this plant are endless. Whereas keeping the dwarf ones in the sun will burn their leaves quickly is what I've noticed. So to give you a sweeping suggestion, I would tell you to give all your Gerberas partial sun. In a climate like Bangalore's, the advantage is that you can experiment with your plant sunlight requirements, but if you stay in hotter places, then partial shade it should be. Just remember that complete shade, however, will not induce blooms. Another tip to get more blooms is to fertilize this plant with good organic kitchen waste and compost thrice every month. Also, when you see stunted growth like this and the whole circumference of the pot is filled with leaves, that is another sign for you to repot your plant. So you can separate the plant to get more plants or repot it in another bigger container. The separation and a separate propagation video will be coming very soon. So the saplings that you see here, I most probably think are the Gerbera pups that have most likely self-seeded from this mother plant. 
I mean this bromeliad container has the most well-draining potting mix and see how the potting mix can create wonders with a very difficult to propagate plant like the Gerbera. That is if this one is actually a Gerbera sapling. Don't worry, I will be updating you very soon on this. So this was just a beginner's guide to repotting your Gerbera daisy the right way because it is a very sensitive plant and needs a lot of care for it to radiate and glow in your garden. So with this, we have come to the end of yet another episode of Urbanscape Bangalore and I hope you've enjoyed the show. Additionally, you can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. The links are given below. Thank you for watching and until we meet again, a very warm Goodbye.